Number one, we're going to find the equation and find the tenth term of each of the following arithmetic sequences. So looking at uh, 1a, we've got 19, 25, 31, 37. You can see that each time we're adding 6. So every time we think about our term numbers, 1, 2, 3, and 4, every time the term number gets bigger by 1, the term gets bigger by 6. It's kind of like over 1, up 6, over 1, up 6. It's kind of like our slope in a slope-intercept equation. So we've got y equals 6x. But then we have to figure out our y-intercept. We'll just take the first term as an example. If you take 6 times the term number, 6 times 1, that gives you 6. To get up to 19, you're going to have to add 13. Another way to think about it is the y-intercept is when x is 0, what's your y-value? I'll find the 0th term. I'll work backwards one. 25, 19, that would be 13. So here's the equation. And then we want to find the 10th term. All we have to do is plug 10 in. So we would take our y. The term is going to be 6 times the 10th term plus 13, 60 plus 13, we're looking at 73. For part B, 101, 97, 93, 89, in this one, we are decreasing by 4 each time. So every time we go over 1, we're going to go down 4. Term 1, 101. Term 2, over 1, we go down 4. Over 1, down 4. Over 1, down 4. It's like our slope is negative 4. Again, we have to figure out what's our y-intercept going to be. Now, you could plug in a value, like you could plug in negative 4 times 2 to get negative 8 and then figure out what do I have to add to get to 97. Or you could just kind of think backwards and go, well, the y-intercept is when x is 0. What's my 0th term? Work backwards, add 4, add 4. We see that the y-intercept is 105. The 10th term, then, we take negative 4 times 10 is negative 40, plus 105 is going to be 65. And part C, we got 8, 9 and a half, 11, 12 and a half in each case we are adding 1.5. So it's over 1, up 1 and a half, over 1, up 1 and a half. That's going to be our slope, is 1.5. Then we have to figure out the y-intercept. Our first term's 8, second term's 9 and a half, third term, fourth term. If you took 1.5 times 1, you only get 1.5. What do you have to add to get to 8? Well, you have to add 6.5. Or, if you think about it working backwards, the y-intercept is the zeroth term. Work backwards. Minus one and a half, minus one and a half. Eight minus one and a half is that six and a half. If we want to find the tenth term, 1.5 times 10 is 15, plus six and a half would be 21.5.